learning exactly what the code was, and I will actually read again this slip of paper that gives very mixed messages as to whether or not we are breaking the university codes. So it says, while vigorous discourse and the sharing of ideas is vital to our university, the rights of others to participate in learning, teaching, and other campus events and activities must not be infringed upon. The UW system has specific guidelines for protest activities that protect the rights of all members of the university community. These are found in UWS 1811-4. Failure to abide by these regulations may result in action by the university police and or the dean of students office. And on the other side, they give six, so the only information we're given right here is these six possible violations. And we did not feel we were violating any of these. Let me read them. One, keep entrances, hallways, and access to recruiters open. Well, we're not protesting recruiters anymore. Um, probably worthwhile to actually update this. <laughs> <laughs> the second is threats of violence and the throwing of objects are not tolerated. We did not threaten anyone um, and we did not throw any objects. Signs supported by standards or sticks are not allowed in university buildings. No standards or sticks. Noise interfering with events, activities is inappropriate. We weren't, um, uh, we weren't disrupting any classrooms um, or any other activities. Sound amplification can only be used with prior permission. We did not have a bullhorn or anything to the like. Demonstrations that obstruct or seriously impair university events, activities are not allowed. And again, um, we are not disrupting um, any university events and activities. So you assumed that the entirety of 18.4 was on that card? Um, there was no reason to assume otherwise. Have you, uh, have you ever seen any legal things like that? Like this? No, just like legal code. Um, yes, I've seen legal code. Okay, and and that, I mean, I, I'm I'm just I mean, um, uh, it seems to me that you're presenting, um, uh, basically, um, I didn't know what the rules were, and so how can I be held responsible for them? Whereas, like as you said, you had your own smartphone. UW 18.4 is online. You could have looked it up and figured out, oh, maybe we shouldn't have moved. It's like there, there were proactive things that you could have done to make sure that the protest was in line with the guidelines in 18.4. We need to take a little recess. We have a short recess. Well, actually, we, um, she, there's questions that are standing, and we need well, there's to no question go. pending. The panel you is said that I Set of the question. I haven't taken any breaks. I don't, I'm not trying to argue with you. I just also want to make sure that the committee has a chance to continue to ask their questions and not have to be interrupted all the time. So you can take a brief consult, but um, I, I just want to keep the hearing going. Yeah, and also, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be gotcha. I'm, I'm trying to understand um, uh, kind of how well thought out or planned about the effectiveness of this particular action. That, that, that's all I'm inquiring about. 